Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we have come up with a new kind of a session and this is doubt solving session. So if any person is posting their doubts as a comment on the channel, so we will quickly review the comments and we will create a video on it. So idea is to help and support each and everyone in a community. Right? So we have got a comment from Manushi Tiwari she has got a couple of issues one is uh, a pdf file so she wants to extract the data in a proper table format and put into an excel file from pdf file now another query she is having is pertaining to log to file in csv okay so this video we are going to address one of the query that is pertaining to log to file okay so what is log to file so log to file is actually to automatically help us. It would help us to log the data into the file. So it is generally used by the RPA developers to track how many records are being processed by an automation script. What now, what if there is a power failure or an automation process suddenly stops in between? So how will you track? For example, let us say your automation was running and for a file and the file had 2000 records now after 1500 records were processed the power failure took place now when you again restart your automation script now it should not start from the first record it should automatically start from the 1501th record right so how how that automation would be taken care so that actually is happening because of log to file in log to file the rpa developer makes sure that every record gets processed and that only logging is done into a file okay so this is how log to file plays a very very significant role in your automation scripts so there are various options that are available in a log to file one is nc unicode utf8 utf16 le okay so these are all the various options available now with respect to log to file we have already created one video before but in that I have explained how to do a log to file in a text into a text file. Now in this video, we will specifically look into a CSV file. Now CSV file is nothing but a comma separated value file, right? So if you want to do, if you want to use log to file package for a CSV file, so you have to make sure that you put comma after every content that you, that you want to get locked. Okay. So now without waiting much time, Let's see how it can be automated. So let us go to the control room. Okay. Let me create a new bot. And I would say as log CSV one. Okay. So there is a package of log to file and we will see how we can do the logging into a csv file okay now let me name this csv file as test1.csv now what text we want to get logged as uh, name is there then let's say salary and place so, I, so if you can see I have put a comma after every content to make sure it gets logged into a CSV file okay now I'll go to this path also and we have to check that there is no existing file as of now it's not there we close this thing okay let me delete so now you can see there is no CSV file kept over here so in now idea is to or purpose is to create a csv file over there okay and for now we will keep this encoding type as nc so generally you will use nc only until unless there is a specific requirement from a client side or a customer that you have to use for you have to go for a specific encoding type now in the same file i am keeping uh, data This was test one not CSV. Let me copy. 
is to be there. So in the same file, we will get Henry. So Henry is actually a name, named salary. So salary might be place as you can keep as bank. So let us save it. So we have selected an option append to existing log file when logging. So it means this would be a separate row and name in one column, salary in another place in another column. Then again, we will get a separate data of Henry 80,000 Bangalore in the same file. So it would append both the things in the same file. Okay, so now let us run it. Also, we don't have a file over file that is there. It is not there. Okay, so we have to see that too. How a file is getting created. So packages is getting downloaded. Okay, so player got involved. So it was successful. Okay, now you can see test1.csv got created. Okay, it is. Okay, so you can see name, salary, place, Henry, 80,000 Bangalore. Okay, so this data you have got into a CSV file, right? Now, let us see this command further. Now, if I select overwrite existing log file, okay, then what would happen? Now, let me write a new data over here. Let us say it is John. And instead of 80,000, I put 90,000. Instead of Bangalore, I am putting pool. So this is how this package is getting created. Now I would, I purposely made this changes to make you understand what is the difference between append and override append as the uh, name itself suggests it is it would continue to um, append further add the data into the same file right sometimes if you go to an automation script you don't want to create a new file every time into the machine right you have to use the existing file so that is how append works in the same file it would put go on adding data further into the existing data. Now we had chosen overwrite over this time, overwrite the data. Okay, now you can see the entire data was overwritten. We had name, salary, place, and then we had data related to Henry. So overwriting happened. So generally what I would suggest is when you are creating a automation script and you are running it, executing it, so keep append to existing log file until unless there is a specific requirement to overwrite itself, right? So keep append. So at that end, you will come to know, okay, my, my data is coming and it is getting added to the file. After 2000 records get processed, you can check whether each of your data came over there or not. Now append timestamp, it would add the current date and time when this automation script is running to the file. So let us see that as well. So, so earlier the log2 file video that I had created was related to the logging into the text file. Now we are logging into the CSV file. Okay, so, and you should not forget, we have to put the uh, comma after the content that we have to log. So now the date and the timestamp would also come along with the data. Okay, now you can see, see this date timestamp has come over here. Okay, so this is how this log2 file works. I hope this video will solve the doubt, the queries that one of the my friend had.
okay so i hope uh, manushi tiwari ji this video would be helpful to you now another query that you have put that is about pdf file so that we would uh, review and we would process so we would create a separate video for your another query so far so good hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more videos thank you